So we've just picked up our brand new FLIR TS32 unit. For the first timer, there's a lot of buttons on these and there isn't a whole lot of user interface because they come from military technology. So one of the imp most important things, along the top we have five buttons. Our power button, our camera button, which allows us to snap a photo when we tap it, or record video if we hold it down. That's only on the Pro Series. Then we've got our two times magnification, and then we've got our palette adjustment, so that's where we switch between white hot, black hot, and insta alert. And then we've got our brightness to adjust for when you're out on a day like today or out at night where your eyes will obviously be adjusted. We've got a flip cap on the front with a lens in behind. It's easy to do, people pick them up all the time with the lens closed or with this only partially lowered. And you can see, you'll immediately see only half an image unless you flip that all the way down. The eyepiece uses an iris style setup, so when you apply pressure to the back end, it'll open up and you can see the screen inside. That's another throwback from the military, that you don't want that light coming out at any time unless you're ready to be looking at it. On the underside, we've got our compartment for our batteries, and then we've also got a little piece that will drop out, and behind that is where we put our SD card, our USB connection, and where we choose our standby options. Up front, you can see there's the tripod mount and the mounts for the charger, which is all done through a hot shoe. This unit here has a 320 by 240 microbolometer inside of it. It's got a range out past 500 yards to detect a man-sized target. And this is sort of a starter guide to just get us up and running with this thing. Because it's different. It's a technology that not many people have used before.